was Jackson familiar with the Bible and did he use biblical rhetoric in his public discourses? Absolutely. Uh, and and uh, I'm reading actually a, a book manuscript right now by a good friend, John Atkins, who is looking at Jackson's spiritual or religious life. Uh, so a lot of what I'll say really draws from, from John's work. Um, Jackson is someone who um, is religious. Uh, well, he's spiritual. Um, so Jackson grew up with a mother who was a very strict Presbyterian. Um, in fact, she, she had the idea that maybe Jackson would become a minister. Uh, that does not work out. Uh, maybe if she had lived, she could have steered him in that direction. But um, without her influence there, Jackson doesn't go anywhere close to that. Um, Rachel marries, I'm sorry, Jackson marries a woman by the name of Rachel Donaldson Robards, who is also a strict Presbyterian. So Jackson has these religious influences via these two women in particular um, who helped shape his life. He knows about the Bible. He obviously had read the Bible and continues to read the Bible, but he is someone who tries to keep separate his religious beliefs and his political beliefs. Um, Jackson is someone who believed very staunchly in separation of church and state. Um, for example, in 1832, there's a cholera epidemic in the United States. And so you have ministers uh, and congregations writing to Jackson, asking him to announce a day of prayer and fasting, asking him to, you know, implore the Lord to, to you know, save the American people from this, from this epidemic. And Jackson writes back to one of the one of the uh, correspondents and says, "You know, this is not my place as president. This is something that congregations can do, ministers can do, Americans can do, but as president, this is not my job." Um, and so I think that speaks to his belief in separation of church and state. But if you read his correspondence, if you read his messages, uh, his official papers, he invokes providence. You know, he talks about his belief in fate. He talks about his belief in an afterlife. Um, later in life, after the presidency, he actually joins a church. Um, and this is, unfortunately, for Rachel after she has passed away, uh, because she had pressured him over the years to join a church, but he waits until after he leaves the presidency to do that. Um, so he is, he is someone who I think probably identified as a Christian, and certainly later in life does identify as a Christian, um, but he is someone who tries to keep separate his personal private beliefs from his, from his public actions. 